In my last video, I made a bunker to hide behind, and at the end of the video I said that I was going to go and make the three bunkers, and when you watch the next video they'd be made. But then I quickly realized that this is actually a really good opportunity to teach you how to make methods that accept what we call a parameter. What we want is to make this exact same thing, but we don't want to put it here. We want to put it here, and we want to put another one here. And so I go into my level one code and I think, well, I'd like to make my own method, public void make bunker, like so. And in here, I want to take all this code, copy it, and put it right there. So I have a method now that will make a bunker, and all I have to do is call that method right here. So make bunker, we'll just build this. So if I run this, yeah, I get the bunker still. So what I've done here is I've done, in, when I made the making your own methods video, this is exactly what I did. We're making a method that creates a bunker. So what we want to do now is we want to use this method again, but we want the coordinate to move. So could we, you know, just copy this? paste and put make bunker 2 and then just change you know the, this value here to be something different and the answer is yeah we could do that but then we'd have three different methods and that would be a little bit messy and again there's a smarter way to do it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to make a method but have the ability to change this value which is the starting X value when we make a bunker Right here, I'm going to put int, and I'm going to put uh, x underscore start. And what this value is, is it's saying, okay, you can use the make bunker method, but if you use it, you have to include an integer value that represents the starting x coordinate where the bunker will be this value, the starting x coordinate, is going to wind up being this right here. And so if I now try to run this code, look, I have an error. And the reason I have an error is because by putting this in the brackets of make bunker, I'm saying if somebody wants to use make bunker, they have to include their own x start value. So the first bunker that I wanted to make, the bunker that you see here on the screen, well, that coordinate was 110. So I've changed my mind. I'm not going to take that. I'm not going to use that variable anymore. I'm just going to put the number 110 right there. And what that means is I'm going to make a bunker, and the starting x coordinate is going. So this value is going to be passed to here. That's what I mean by x start and it's going to be used right there to make the bunker. There we go. No difference. But here's the beauty of it. If I then copy this, paste, paste, and if I put, and I don't even know what the values are that I want yet, but if I put, say, 270 right there, so that's a difference of 160, so 430 here, Oh my goodness, look at that. And now, what I've done is I've saved myself a ton of work. Because instead of trying to copy and paste this three times, or copy and paste a whole bunch of code, all I've done is say, okay, I want to vary this coordinate. So I want to use the make bunker method, <clears throat> and I'm allowed to tell it what I want as the X coordinate every time through. And I actually got pretty close on where I want them to be. This one might be a little too far over, but not much. So maybe let's try 265 and um, 420. Not bad. And now, this is what <coughs> Space Invaders is meant to be. You have three bunkers to hide behind, and eventually they go away. So this is the power of making your own methods. And now you know what parameters are. So the make bunker method expects one parameter. That means that if someone wants to use it, 
they have to include one integer integer number and that integer number is going to become the starting coordinate of the bunker which is pretty neat and while I'm at it too I could also do the same thing with aliens so here I have code that puts the aliens on the screen it might be smarter to cut that go down here make a method public void uh, create aliens and I'm gonna put this in here and then right here I'm gonna put create aliens and again if you look through this code now instead of having for loops that look complicated I say okay when someone makes level one let's create the world let's add the hero let's create aliens make bunkers it's very clear what's happening in this code <clears throat> and create aliens notice here I have the number eight I could always put int um, num or and this is just a variable name that I'm making up so I could put int n and I could put n right there and then if someone wants to use the create aliens if they were to put like a 12 right there watch what happens I can get up to you know as many aliens as I want to now that's not what I want to do I don't want to mess with it um, but it's more what we call robust and I can actually increase functionality maybe on another level I'll want to create more aliens or something like that so having the method create aliens with a parameter might not be a bad idea okay so now you know how to create your own methods to replicate things and make your life a lot easier <laughs>